We got new stuff. We got a new year, a new office, and a new balance patch. And uh, in case you didn't notice, maybe you didn't notice before, but maybe now that I'm pointing it out, uh, this office is in the streets of Zurich. And uh, actually an Overwatch hero is based in Zurich. It is Mercy. So Overwatch got a new balance patch, one that actually does change things, which is pretty cool. So this is the first balance patch video I'm gonna make in a long time. And uh, this one, like I said, does nerf Mercy. It also nerfs Junkrat too, but we're mostly talking about Mercy. So what are the changes? Here they are. You already know, you already know the changes, obviously. But basically, if we're talking about Mercy here, here it is. Valkyrie no longer gives instant resurrects, so you always have the channel time. Also, you don't get a bonus resurrect either. You have less speed, and plus the duration of Valkyrie was toned down from 20 seconds to 15 seconds. Wait, is this, uh, wait, negative 341? Absolutely hate the Mercy changes. Finally realized I should stop trying to be a Mercy. So the Mercy bandwagon is pretty strong. It's like a, a huge bandwagon with saws and blades all around it, like 5,000 tons going down a 110 degree slope. But there are a group of players that are very upset and those are the Mercy players. Now it's very easy to let your emotions you know, take control and say, oh, they're just, they're just mad, like, Ugh. like you're trying to take revenge on them because a lot of people do take it personally. It's easy to take it personally on the Mercy players. You know, like, oh, your hero was OP for seven months and ruined my matches. Therefore, you deserve to be punished. Boom, psh, 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 you're throwing out. These are lightning bolts uh, smite, smiting people from the heavens. But, uh, you know, this is the Skyline Overwatch channel, right? So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take a step back. We're going to take a look at it and see, uh, you know, if maybe Mercy players do have a right to be upset. So, um, we have Eevee. EVA, who's the pr pretty much like the Mercy spokesperson of of North America or whatever. Uh, let's take a look. He said something on a stream. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at that. All right, let's see here. So this is EVA stream. Link below. Uh, if these Mercy changes go through, I'll qu quit Overwatch. That was because no matter what, Res would be on 30 second cooldown. Literally, no matter what, there was no way to. Okay, so um, right here. He's talking about quitting Overwatch, quitting Mercy, whatever. And this is a pretty common sentiment. You know, if if all you ever play is Mercy and you feel like, I'm not saying that this is true yet, but, and you feel like your hero was changed in such a way that like, that there's no skill in it anymore or the skill that you already learned is gone, then, I mean, why would you even keep playing? Because your skill has been invalidated, right? You get a second one. There was no way to earn up faster. There's no way to reset it. Res is a 30 second cycle, no matter what now. Okay. So uh, what EVA is saying here is that he's upset because it's just very flat here. It's like, okay, we're done. Basically, you just res every 30 seconds. Anyone could do that. A gold player, a bronze player, uh, a wood player. There's really not too much to differentiate a real a hero a player who's really mastered mercy from just like a normal pretty decent player and i'll just show one more clip here this isn't like a change that would be beneficial to the people playing mercy and it's not really interesting to play against either it's just like cool mercy used res she'll have it in 30 seconds again yeah that's uh so okay before i really comment on it that's what we're talking about here. So before we straw man off into the next galaxy and say, oh, you know, Mercy players are just salty or whatever, that she got nerfed, she, they're salty that their hero isn't OP anymore. Uh, you know, this is just for a backstory, just to show sort of the perspective that um, Mercy players have. Now with that in the back of our heads, let's go ahead and ignore it for now and uh, just talk about what it really does. What does the Mercy change do? Does it make Mercy balanced? Does it make her still a little bit too strong? Or maybe even a little underpowered? Now I made a post on the competitive Overwatch subreddit that I, I basically said, you know, I, th I think Mercy is maybe a little over nerfed. Like I think that she might be a little underpowered now. And oh boy, whoa, whoa, my gosh. I got run over, dude. Um, my post was at like negative 15 at some point, and then it went all went all the way back up to like positive one. Somehow, um, I guess that was the mercy. That was the mercies in Zurich waking up, I guess, and over and uh, and upvoting it. Now, I will admit there were some pretty good arguments here. 
that really, really sort of put me in my place. Uh, for example, this 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 user points out that, well, if you have a 30% damage increase and you apply it to five people, then it now becomes a 150% damage increase. It just makes sense. You just add up the percentages. Um, additionally, with her ult, any character can 1v1 over half the cast because of how much healing it gives. And that kind of threw me for a loop for a second, so I actually looked it up because I was like, am I just dumb? Am I, uh, am I missing something? And no, there's no there's no benefit you give to a single person. It's uh, you don't heal anymore. You just heal more people. But I mean, I don't want to I don't want to make too much fun of them. I really do appreciate critical feedback in any any time. You know, just before this, I had a discussion with someone about mercy just so that they could try to just so I could try to see if I was wrong. I being wrong is the best because it means you've learned something new. So I do appreciate everyone giving me critical feedback. But um, let's let's look at it a bit more logically now. Now you could logically deduce with the new Mercy, with remember when Mercy got reworked, you could logically deduce that she was going to be pretty overpowered because the old Mercy had Resurrect and uh, the reworked Resurrect was better because on average you'd res two or three people with the old, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use old for pre-rework and then new for rework and then PTR for the PTR one, okay? so. Um, the new Mercy's res was better than the old Mercy's res because on average you'd only res two or three people with the old Mercy's res and they would have to be all at once, all at the same time. So if one person died and then like seven seconds later two other people died, that one person would have to have been dead for seven seconds or whatever, right? Uh, but with the new ultimate you could do a piecemeal. A person could die, boom, res. Another person could die, oh, boom, res. And then another person could die a little bit later on and you could res him too. So it's obvious that if you take a hero whose strongest thing is res and you make res stronger and then you give her more things that she's gonna be pretty strong, right? You could logically infer that. So we're going to take those two, da those two data points and then we're gonna look at the PTR Mercy. So the PTR Mercy has a lot of uh, things that are much worse about her than the original new reworked Mercy was back when that was released. And it's even a lot worse than the old, well maybe not a lot, but it's, it's worse debatably than the old Mercy Ultimate. Because let's take a look, so now it has a channeling time. It has a channeling time of just about two seconds, and of course there's also just about uh, a little over one second time where the person's getting resurrected in the golden light or whatever so it takes a good you know but bef between the time someone dies and they get resed if you have good reaction time it's going to be four to five seconds before the person actually gets up and starts fighting again even if you're on the ball with it so it takes a pretty long time not to mention that you have to channel so you can die in the middle plus you can only resurrect one person and it's on a 30 second cooldown so the only thing it really has going for it, because remember, you can only res one person, it's on a delay, it's a shorter range, the only thing it has going for it is that you can use it every fight instead of every other fight or what better mercies usually we're getting two out of every three fights for old mercy that's not all you have to factor in the fact that the channeling time makes it much more likely for mercy to die before she can get the resurrect off so there are many cases where you would have been able to res before that you can't res now as a result it's not quite every fight you can't really say that so with that in mind i think i can pretty confidently say that the old mercy res that's pre-rework is better than the, the PTR Mercy res, the one that can't be boosted by Valk, that has a channeling time all the time, you, you can only do one, right? So essentially, we've taken an underpowered hero to begin with, old Mercy was underpowered, and we have taken her key ability, Resurrect, and made it less powerful. So we've taken an underpowered hero and made her even more underpowered. But of course, there's Valkyrie. You have to factor in Valkyrie. Old Mercy didn't have Valkyrie, so you have to think that, okay, so we have an underpowered hero, we've made her more underpowered than she was before, can Valkyrie make up for that? And that's where we start, that's where it's up to your own judgment, right? You can't really logically deduce it, you just have to sort of estimate. Now, I'm going to leave a lot of this up to you, whether you are, whether you decide that 
it makes up for that gap in power. But just to put some things in perspective, because these are some very common things I hear. And these were, again, some responses to the Reddit thread. People have told me this in general, like, oh, well, here's one. For the, for the uh, healing chain, it's like transcendence. It's basically transcendence. It's like a slightly better, in fact, someone even said it's a slightly, I don't even understand that. Someone said it's a slightly better version of transcendence. Yeah, right here. Someone someone on uh, on the Reddit thread said that it's that the chain healing is a better version of transcendence. I, I don't know if I'm missing something, but it's just, just not. Because transcendence is 300 HP per second, and Mercy is 60 HP per second. So even if Mercy was healing the entire team combined, that would still only match a single hero in Transcendence. Transcendence can theoretically go up to 1500 uh, damage uh, healing per second. Then we have the chain damage boost, and a common argument that people use here is it's basically Orisa's ultimate. It's like a slightly worse version of Orisa's ultimate, right? Because Orisa's ultimate is 50% and her damage boost is 30%. When people hear that something's basically an Orisa ultimate, they think this. But it's not that. It's more like this. Except weaker. Because remember, when Orisa ults, she puts down drums, but she can still shoot. In fact, she gets the, the benefit from the damage boost herself, which is insane. She, she does a lot of damage. She can still put down shields. She can still suck people up. Um, she can still do all, all the stuff that she normally does. She just adds on the drums. Mercy is literally the drums if you took away Orisa, Just like no Orisa, just you are the drums, except you're way worse. You have a lower range by quite a bit, and you also only do 30% instead of 50%. So yeah, my conclusion is that I think she'll be a bit underpowered and that she won't be seeing a whole lot of competitive play. If she does, it's like in the very, in such a, a very niche type of thing. But getting, before we close up, going back to EVA's point of that it's going to be really lame for the Mercy player. I absolutely agree, and here's why. The new Resurrect, so in the past, the old Resurrect and the new Resurrect had choice involved. You had to give up a big cost to use Resurrect. With the PTR Mercy, there's nothing. You just use it. There's no reason to not use it. You should always use it. And because you always have a cast time now, the number of situations you can use Resurrect in have been severely limited. So you don't want to risk, oh, well, if this guy dies, I don't want to risk maybe the point getting overrun and me not being able to Resurrect because of the cast time. So you just always res the first person no matter what. Plus you want to get the cooldown rolling. You want to get the cooldown rolling. You're like, I could really understand why Mercy players, particularly players who have put a lot of hours in, like EVA and other top 500 GM Mercies, I can see why they're very upset because, uh, I mean, it's basically, it's what's the difference? There's literally no difference between EVA now and some random master tier Mercy. It's very, very hard to differentiate yourself anymore. So with that all in mind, oh, camera, come back, come back, camera. I'm reasonably confident in that prediction, but not like, uh, I'm not gonna say it's 100%, I'm gonna say it's more like an 80 to 90% chance. I do sympathize with Mercy players, but overall, it is a net positive on the game. Uh, anyway, Overwatch League is coming out pretty soon, so I'll have more content on that, plus I'll be doing some VOD reviews probably tomorrow or the next day. Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I hope that you all give fantastic criticism and feedback in the comments. Let's see how many down votes we can get. Let's see how many down votes we can get for going against the wagon. It's uh, it's crushing me, dude. Like I said, I, I got down to like negative 15 on the Reddit thread, but some somebody bumped it back up to, to further. Maybe it was like EVA stream or something. But um, yeah, let's see how many downvotes we can get on this video, guys. All right, anyway, never forget to stay positive and have a great day. Until next time.